Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for Tuesday, October the 6th. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim his salvation from day to day. Give to the Lord the glory and strength. Give him the honor due his name. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise to you, O Christ. O come, let us worship him. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge, no evil shall be allowed to befall you, no plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will travel, trample underfoot. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Our Old Testament reading today is from Deuteronomy chapter 5. These words the Lord spoke to all your assembly at the mountain out of the midst of the fire, the cloud, and the thick darkness, with a loud voice, and he added no more. And he wrote them on two tablets of stone and gave them to me. And as soon as you heard the voice out of the midst of the darkness, while the mountain was burning with fire, you came near to me, all the heads of your tribes and your elders. And you said, Behold, the Lord our God has shown us his glory and greatness, and we have heard his voice out of the midst of the fire. This day we have seen God speak with man, and man still live. Now, therefore, why should we die? For this great fire will consume us. If we hear the voice of our Lord, the Lord our God any more, we shall die. For who is there of all flesh that has heard the voice of the living God speaking out of the midst of the fire as we have, and has still lived? Go near and hear all that the Lord our God will say and speak to us, all that the Lord our God will speak to you, and we will hear and do it. And the Lord heard your words when you spoke to me. And the Lord said to me, I have heard the words of this people which they have spoken to you. They are right in all that they have spoken. Oh, that they had such a mind as this always, to fear me and to keep all my commandments, that it might go well with them and with their descendants forever. Go and say to them, Return to your tents. But you, stand here by me, and I will tell you the whole commandments and the statutes and the rules that you shall teach them that they may do them in the land that I am giving you them to possess. You shall be careful, therefore, to do as the Lord your God has commanded you. You shall not turn aside to the right hand or to the left. You shall walk in all the way that the Lord your God has commanded you, that you may live, and that it may go well with you, and that you may live long in the land that you shall possess. Now this is the commandment, the statutes, and the rules that the Lord your God has commanded me to teach you, that you may do them in the land to which you are going over to possess it that you may fear the Lord your God, you and your son and your son's son, by keeping all his statutes and his commandments, which I command you, all the days of your life, and that your days may be long. Hear therefore, O Israel, and be careful to do them, that it may go well with you, and that you may multiply greatly, as the Lord, the God of your fathers, has promised you, in a land flowing with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. And these words that I command you today shall be on your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down and when you rise. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be frontlets between your eyes. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Our writing today is from a writing called the Didache, uh, also known as the Teachings of the Twelve Apostles, which is a really interesting, very short uh, document. Uh, it's also called the uh, Lord's Teaching Through the Twelve Apostles to the Nations. Uh, it was written in uh, Koine Greek, the same language as the New Testament was written in. Uh, they've dated it to the first century. 
And uh, traditionally, it's, it's considered that it was written by the Twelve Apostles, but uh, we don't think that's necessarily true. Uh, and it was lost for a very, very long time. It was only discovered in 1873, uh, so near the end of the 19th century was when it was actually discovered. And if you read it, and we'll hear the beginning of it this morning, when you read it, you go, wow, this sounds just like the Bible. And in fact, if ever, in my opinion, if ever there was a lost document that was found that could be considered part of the Bible, it would be this, this document, which is a, almost like a catechism. It teaches us the basics of the faith. And it does it in a very enigmatic uh, first century way. You know, it says there's the good way and the bad way, the way of life, the way of death. Uh, so I encourage you to look it up. You can read it online for free and check it out. It's quite interesting. And it says, there are two ways, one of life and one of death. And between the two ways, there is a great difference. Now, this is the way of life. First, you must love God who made you. And second, your neighbor as yourself. And whatever you want people to refrain from doing to you, you must not do them. What these maxims teach is this, bless those who curse you and pray for your enemies. Moreover, fast for those who persecute you. For what credit is it to you if you love those who love you? Is it not the way the heathen act? But you must love also those who hate you, and then you will make no enemies. Abstain from carnal passions. If someone strikes you on the right cheek, turn to him the other two, and you will be perfect. If someone forces you to go one mile with him, go along with him for two. If someone robs you of your overcoat, give him your suit as well. If someone deprives you of your property, do not ask for it back. You could not get it back anyway. Give to everybody who begs from you and ask for no return. For the father wants his own gifts to be universally shared. Happy is the man who gives as the commandment bids him, for he is guiltless. We join together in the Apostles' Creed in the Lord's Prayer. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, we praise your fathomless mercy with which you take pity on sinful men. All the prophets and apostles preach this to us in your holy word. Let our hope not be put to shame when we pray to you for all who suffer at this time. For behold, the evil foe has become mighty, <clears throat> and the great ones <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> and the great ones of this world rule often with unrighteousness. O God, who in former times caused your saints to overcome injustice, Strengthen also today all who stand in need of your help. Grant that all prisoners of war, held as slaves, and sacrifices of earthly wrath may return to their home. Stand by all refugees and homeless people and be their justice. Be a father to the widows and orphans with your strong protection. Go through bars and fences to those who are imprisoned for the sake of your name. Strengthen them for a good witness and let them not waver in the confession of your son's name. Teach us through their example and the example of so many holy martyrs to be ever watchful of the confession of your Son's name. Let us not be put to shame when the evil foe lays his hand on us, but if it is your will that we be persecuted for confessing Jesus as our Lord and only Savior, then support us in your grace, that we may withstand all trials, and grant us peaceful rest. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty and most merciful God, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to seek and to save the lost. Graciously open our ears and hearts to hear his call and to follow him by faith, that we may feast with him forever in his kingdom. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, 
who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings and life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul in all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Have a blessed day.